Hey sports fans, Coach Nick here and I have NBA Coach Terry Porter with us and I was wondering if you talk a little bit about the fundamentals that you learned offensively from playing for Coach Rick Adelman. Well, I think when you talk about at the pro level, one of the things that uh, you know Rick talked about was just from a point guard standpoint, we talked a lot about you know time management. We talked about obviously the pick and roll, which has become a very important part of uh, the game today. It wasn't as, as big as it was back then, we played more inside-out basketball. But, you know, fundamentals were still the most important things in regards to getting shots, being able to make the right decisions and pick and rolls and, and in multiple situations. So, you know, I, I think he just talked a lot about just solid basketball, making the right pla making the right pass, being able to set the screen, whatever the game called for at that time. So did you guys have breakdown drills where you're doing two-line, three-line, and really learning his, uh, the high post offense and the movement that he did? Or, or actually, is it even the same as what it was when you played? Is it the same as he's doing now? Do you recognize it? No, it was a lot different now. I mean, we didn't have as many uh, elbow actions back then. Like I said, we, we, we posted Clyde, we posted Duck, and then we ran, we ran, got out an open court. So we didn't run as many elbow actions as he runs right now in regards to uh, his half-court offense. I don't know if you know, but there's a big movement toward saying that 90s basketball isn't as good in the NBA as it is now, which kind of frightens me. Can you give us, from a first point of view, first hand point of view, just how good it was back then and how it would stack up today? Well, I'm a little bit biased about those, those are my years, but I think whenever you have rule changes in the game, it changes the way the game is played. And obviously, there's been quite a few rules that's, that's been put in place since my, the 80 days when you talk about being able to play zone. We talk about also not being able to touch somebody on the perimeter. And so it's just been a lot of different things in regards to those type of defensive situations, which has really enhanced the offensive uh, player, an opportunity to have more movement or free movement. And so when you talk about that, it becomes tougher uh, from, a, uh, from an offensive standpoint in regards to being able to uh, guard those type of sets. You know, now you know, we can throw in some zone there. You can throw in a couple of traps and things of that nature. It was more difficult back then to run those type of schemes. For, for guys who are not as long in the tooth as we are, who are you most like when you played in the, in the NBA today? Who reminds you of yourself? Well, um, you know, guys like Cha Chauncey Billups, you know, that type of build. Uh, a Bledsoe, again, that type of build. I didn't have the athleticism. I didn't have the athleticism that, that he had, but... Um, you know, so I think those are the guys we're talking about. Well, thanks, Coach, for joining us. And don't forget at B-Ball Breakdown, we're not a channel. We're a conversation. You in? You in, Coach? I'm in. <laughs>